Um, let's uh, talk to Annika Smesthurst here. She is uh, the national political uh, editor for the Sunday newspapers that you see in the News Corp uh, fold. She is an accomplished and award-winning journalist. And this week, she had a big win in the High Court. That big win in the High Court was that the uh, raid that took place at her house to try to uh, work out where information had been leaked from inside the public service, well, it was ruled to be invalid. Interestingly, the stuff that they found in her house can still be used in a potential court case. We talked a little bit before the show. Uh, yeah, 10 months since my house was raided and uh, this month it's actually two years since I wrote that story and as a newspaper journal you churn out a bit of copy and um, a lot of it doesn't come back to bite you two years down the track. So it's been a really long slog. Well, thanks for letting us inside the house. We didn't want to just barge our way in uh, like previous guests have. Thank you for letting us in. I appreciate it. No warrant needed for you. <laughs> no, good. Good. Thank you very much. Um, have we set a standard with the court's decision here about people like yourself's ability to, to, to do your job or is something very specific about very specific circumstances what's been dealt with here? Look, unfortunately, um, whilst it's a win and, you know, a unanimous win by the High Court is something that I guess should be celebrated, it's not um, a huge change for press freedom or for other journos trying to do their job. Um, effectively, um, the warrant that the police used to raid my house, to spend seven hours in my house, uh, it was just sloppy. It was um, technically wrong. They didn't weren't specific enough about my alleged offence and, and inconsistent with the laws I was alleged to have broken. So, um, in many ways, I won on a technicality. And if we're talking for future journos, um, I don't think they should have to depend on such sloppiness or mistakes by police um, to try and, you know, win cases like this. There's still a long way to go and the High Court really didn't touch on the bigger issue of press freedom um, in the decision. Presumably, uh, if the warrant has now been quashed, then potentially issues you might have been facing in terms of potential charges, um, those never, uh, well, have never been acted upon. Uh, literally, sort of the Attorney General himself is saying that It'll be up to his level to decide whether things take on or not. So do you feel like it's over in terms of your legal uh, precariousness? Look, sadly not. Uh, when they came to my house, it's been widely reported that they did seize some material. A lot of that was from my mobile phone. Um, and up until now, it's sort of been sitting in, I guess, a quarantine like everybody at the moment, but it's sitting in a locked box. And until the proceedings were over, there really was a, still a debate about what could be done about that. Um, whilst we, we won in terms of uh, the, the warrant wasn't valid and technically the police coming onto my property was illegal or trespass, however you want to sort of... Um, look at it, they've still been able to keep that material and it's quite a complicated reason that if they had have taken my couch, I guess, uh, they would have had to rectify my apartment to the way they left it so they would have had to return it. But they made copies of material and have taken it. So um, they've now allowed to use that information, even though it was obtained during an illegal search uh, in an ongoing investigation. And um, whilst it's a win, and it's definitely a strong argument we would have if they did choose to prosecute to say, well, this was obtained legally, uh, it's alarming that it can still be used as an investigation. I'm a big fan of her work. All the best to her and getting back to uh, writing sooner rather than later. Annika Smithhurst there from the News Corp stable.